All right, all right, all right, guys. Now we're we've done part uh, two, which was getting the flight controller prepped, tinned, ready to go. Now we're going to move to step three, which is going to be the motor. So I'm going to take all these little rubber standoffs here, move those aside. Uh, I don't remember if this one that's sitting back here was part of mine or not, but I'm just going to put it over here anyway. All right, so let's move all those aside, okay? And let's get started with the motors. This is going to be the next set, right? So here's the motors right here, and let's see. To open this, I'm just going to take my, where is my screwdriver? Here it is. Just going to take that, put it in between tape twist it and then you can open this up and let's go ahead and check out the motor real quick okay this is the 8 the 1103 8000 kV so let's go ahead and take the first one out all right and let's see our screws here I think the screws are actually going to be the right length um, but we're going to be using two different screws for this we're going to use one before we put on the prop guards and then we're going to use one after we put on the prop guards okay so here's what we're going to do first first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we measure the motors properly so the motor length is going to be because you're going to tuck it underneath a little bit so let's just say that we're going to go to the farthest motor connection there and let's use this as our guide okay whatever this measurement is here which i think i just pinched it so it should be right uh, let's see. So we are going to use a length. Well, let me do it again just because I want to make sure I marked it properly. So let's put this back on here. We're going to tape that right there and wrap this around to the longest one. Okay, so I'm going to do it again and this time hopefully make a better mark. There. All right. I think that's a pretty good mark. So we're going to use a length of from the bell. Uh, we could. We could go 35, which would be pretty good, I think. Let me see. Yeah, 35 is going to be ample. So let's go 35. Now, here's what I do, and I've showed you guys this before, all right, um, is I'll take a – now, you use whatever you want. If you have – if you have a uh, – if you have a uh, – whatchamacallit? If you have anything, a tube of, of, of heat shrink or whatever it is you want to use, I measure mine, right? So here it is right here. This is 40. So I'm going to measure this to 35. All right, and I'm just gonna cut this part off. That's gonna be how I measure. That way, when I put all the motor wires in here and I just use this as the guide, they're all gonna be the same length, okay? So I'm gonna take this, and that should be about right. Let me see. Yep, that's right, right there. So I'm gonna take this, slide it over just like that. Okay, get it to the edge of the bell. Just like that, all right? And then I'm gonna cut this off. That's it. Okay, now, while we're going to obviously do four motors, what I want to do, and I'm going to put all this excess here in this little motor holder, and just put that aside for right now, okay? So, before I go and do the rest of them now, this right thing to do is going to be to go ahead and just prep this motor, tin it, make sure that it fits properly, right? We want, we want to make sure that the 35 is right, and it doesn't need to be 37 or 40 or something like that. So, I'm just going to, I'm going to trim off about one, uh, between one to one and a half mil. Of, of the silicone there so I can expose the uh, wires and then I'm gonna flux them and then I'm going to uh, twist these real quickly and then tin them and again I can bring out the helping hands if we need to so let's do that okay here's our solder One, two, and three. All right, let's put that away for a second. Let's get this down. Take that out of the way. Okay, now, if you look at the screws that came with your motors, and please be careful when you do this because these screws can get stuck on the magnets or anything, and you just don't want them to mess up your motor. So again, use your little box here if you want. Um, but what I want to do is I just want to take two of the screws Okay, which are going to be the short ones. You want the short ones. The long ones will puncture the, uh, they will touch the uh, copper uh, winding. So don't use those when we're going straight through this carbon fiber. So we measured this side. So I'm going to go ahead and just take, whoops, whoa, 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 my screw went flying there. Where'd it go? No, not sure where it went, but I'll just grab another one real quickly. Be more careful than me at least. Let me grab another one here. There we go. Okay, this time I'm just going to put it on the end of my screwdriver. All right. Put this through. And these holes are cut very tight, so you do need to thread it a little bit 
So just line up the motor and you want to screw one side of it in just to hold it in place. Don't tighten it down too much because you've got to line the other side as well. Okay, so just line the other part up. You can put the screw in there on the top. Screw that piece down. Now, if you want to fly without prop guards, these screws are perfectly fine. They're long enough to hold this motor without prop guards. If you put prop guards, it would not be long enough. All right, so let's look at what we've got here, okay? Taking my tweezers, I can now take the first one, right? And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna solder in place right here. There's one. And I'm gonna come in at this angle. As you can see, I'm, I'm coming in at this angle here. I'm not going straight in because I'm gonna keep the wire at that angle on the arm, right? So I wanna come in at this, this angle here. And then we have one more. Perfect, okay? Now, what do we do here? Well, we've got this excess wire. It's just a little bit, but you can see it's kind of it's kind of bunching up right there, right? So here's the purpose. Here's what we do here. We basically just take our screwdriver and we just gently straighten this wire along the arm, right? And it's going to basically tuck up underneath the flight controller like that. And that is why we go at that angle. So if I can zoom in and show you, it look, ends up coming out very neat looking, okay? So if you tuck it with the screwdriver, you just basically do one at a time. Start with the start with the one on the inside. Tuck it, tuck it, just like that, okay? And you end up making this really nice um, straight uh, path of wire right here. It looks real clean, right? So let me zoom back out now, and here's what here's what goes next. Okay, so let me keep going, keep going, keep going, and there. Okay, so at this point, what I want to do is I want to take my tape, and we gave you this may be a little long. I wasn't really sure because. I don't know how you know how much if you ruin a piece or if it doesn't go right for you. This is this tape is supposed to be basically almost 300 millimeters. Okay, so you fold it once, and then you fold that in half again, and now you've got your quarters. So you've got one for each motor, right? So once you do that, then unfold it, and you can cut along the the folded area here. And that gives you one piece of tape. That's a, that's a lot of tape. I think that's going to be a, maybe a little too much, but it really just depends. I'll use it. I'll make do with it as it is because I want those wires to stay in place and stay clean. If I can get my fat fingers to peel the back of this off, good Lord, come on. Awesome. Okay, now what we're going to do is I want you to flip this over and I want you to start for tape from the back. This gets the best grip and just go in between the middle of the arm there, right? Start, flip it over, pull it tight, and just wrap around so that you come over the existing tape. Now you're gonna get quite a few, um, uh, I guess kinda quite a few rotations of tape around here, but look at that. Look when you're done. Look how good that looks. Okay, you've got your wires perfectly done. They're clean, everything looks good, and now you move on to the next motor. Now, before I just stop this and say, okay guys, you understand the point, now go ahead and do it. I wanna check the back motors because I don't know when I designed this frame, I cannot remember if it was identical uh, uh, to both. I don't think it was as far as length goes. So what we're gonna do is, since I know that I have to cut another 35 millimeter for the front, I'm gonna cut that at 35 millimeter and see if it works on the back too. And if it does, then we know we're good for both. So I'm gonna take my yellow right here, okay? Just like that. Take it up to the bell, just like that, like we did the last one. And I'm going to cut it. Now, if this proves to be too short, then we'll use it for the front motor. So I'm going to put that in there. And for right now, I'm going to put it aside. And I'll tell you that I think it's going to be... Um, actually, it would be almost too long, I would say. But, uh, let me see. So if I did it here, I think the front may actually be a long... It is. So the front is longer. So what we can do is let's well it's good we didn't we didn't there's no problem there so if we were to cut this here like this we would take about five millimeters off let's say so what we're going to do is let's i'm going to leave this one for the front well actually I'll, I'll just cut it doesn't matter so i'm going to make another measurement that's 30 millimeters long okay so let me do that real quickly because i think 30 would be just fine so i'm going to go ahead and cut this down 
to 30. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here like this. And what I'll do is I usually will save these heat shrinks, okay, because I know I'm gonna need them again. So the best thing to do, see how that is. Yeah, it should be good. Best thing to do is to like, let me see if I have something here. Uh, yeah, so I'll take my permanent marker, right? And I'll just come over on this one and put 35. And then I'll come over here and I'll do 30. And these will be good for any size motor. So just save them. I mean, they'll be great to use down the road. So let's go ahead and tin this one up and just make sure that this fits like I'm hoping. And then after that, um, you guys can finish the rest here. And uh, I'm gonna, I'll keep the video running. Uh, but obviously it's just going to be repeating the same thing over and over. Okay, so we're going to tin these. Strip them down here, just like that. <clears throat> Put the flux on them. Spin the wires up. Get the helping hands. and tin the motor wire real quickly. Okay. And with that done, put that aside. And let's see, I had the other set of screws here. So you're gonna grab again, grab two screws, two of the small ones. Let's mount the motor real quickly. Excellent. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to do the same thing we did on the other part. We're going to take the wire. We're going to solder it in this order, just like this. So let's go one, two, and three. Just like that. Okay, now, again, what do we do with the excess wire? Because you can see that there's a little bit of extra wire there, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our screwdriver just gently, just straighten the wire down the arm, just like that. Okay, just like that. And once you do that, you'll see that it'll all fall right into place perfectly. Okay. And then you do the same thing. Take your tape, get the next section of tape. Hopefully you have better luck at this than me. All right, there we go, right? And then lift it up, go to the center of the arm right there, start the tape, bring it around, come back over where you started, and just wrap it around. Awesome. So there you go. It looks great. Everything is lining up properly, exactly how we want it to. So now let's finish the other two motors. I'm gonna keep doing this with the video running. I'm not gonna fast forward it or speed it up. I don't really like to edit the videos like that. So you're more than welcome to do it while I do it. Here we go. I'm gonna go to, now that we've done these two, I'll go these two and I'll start with the, uh, oh, it doesn't really matter. But remember, one's 30 millimeter, the back ones are 30 and the front ones are 35, okay? Any way that you're using to measure that, just do that. So we can open this. There we go. There's our motor. Let me empty the screws out into the, the little container that came with this right here. And I'm not going to remove the two screws I need until I get this done because I just don't like screws all over the table, uh, especially small ones because, they, like I said, they get caught up in stuff and, uh, and it can become uh, havoc here. So I'm going to leave that over here. I know I'll be getting to it. And then let's grab my... Um, where are my, where did they go? They're probably right in front of me. My little yellow, oh, 
Put the right there. There we go. So we're gonna do the 30. I'll do the back one here at 30. Let's just go ahead and get that in there. Just like that. Stop at the bell. There we go. Okay. Tin this up. There we go. Grab two screws. some tape. Okay, now, whoops, before I do that, I want to tuck my wires in, so, oh, I mean, I got to solder this, I don't even, <laughs> let me solder the wires first, holy cow. Um, so, where is my, here it is, my tweezers, okay. Excellent. Now we'll tuck the excess in. Go straight down the arm there. Remember, guys, it's all about making it nice and neat and symmetrical. Okay, anybody can start building quads. The difference is, will you take the time to build yours like it's being you know, like you're very proud of it, and, and you have to. So I tell people is, even if it's just for you, build your quad like you're making it for somebody else, because it does represent, you know, you, and whether you take pride in your work and care about things being precise. I mean, I can tell you right now that every single measurement on here is gonna be very darn close uh, to identical. I mean, symmetrical, it should, it should, on first look, it should be looking extremely symmetrical. Everything should be looking uh, pretty much like it was uh, uh, all even, perfectly even and symmetrical. All right. All right, we're on to our last motor now, which is going to be, for me, motor number two. Uh, and I'm going to follow the same steps here. Open this. Cut out the screws. Pull that out. Now we're going to use the 35. Now we're done with those measurements there. So now this is going to be our last tinning for motors. So I'm going to go ahead and tin this one. So let's strip the wire.
And again, you're stripping about one, in, one to one and a half, maybe millimeters. Don't go crazy on it because there's no need to. All you're gonna end up doing is using way more solder than you need. So let's do this. Put the flux on there. Spin them up. Get our helping hands. And you don't need helping hands, okay? I'm just using it because I've got students that'll be watching and I want them to get used to using helping hands. But I mean, you don't have to use helping hands. I, well, I very often do not use them just because it's faster for me not to, but hey, you know what? We'll go ahead and do it this time. All right, so we're tinned all the way across. That's it for the helping hands for right now. Let's go ahead and take out two small screws. One and two, close this up, put it away. Get this on the end of the screwdriver and get this lined up. There we go. All right, guys, so now we're gonna solder this last piece here. So let's get the soldering iron. And three. Okay. And with that, again, let's just go ahead and run the wires straight down the arm. Gently. Don't don't yank on them. Don't go crazy with it. Just nice and gentle. Make sure they all line up nice and straight. Okay. Or I mean, as straight as you can. But the idea is to keep them organized and nice. Okay. Just like that. Now, we'll take the tape off. over start around the center of the arm like we've done on the other ones make sure our wiring is nicely done bring it over overlay it back over just like that and there you have it and you have now successfully just wired the motors and if you've tucked the wires in like this, it's probably gonna be really nice looking because everything now is running perfectly straight. So let's zoom in on that real quickly, give you an idea of what it should look like. Everything should be nice, tucked away nicely. And that is a very clean, clean, clean uh, uh, step number three, which is the motors, okay? So now when we get back, we're gonna come back and we're gonna uh, get ready to do the caddox because that's pretty much all we have left, guys. So we're gonna open the caddox up, get the wiring ready, and we'll take it from there. See you guys in just a minute.